See the buff on uh, Scream of Pain, the mana cost. True, the level one does yeah. feel really good. Maybe. They go necro. Paparazzi, and as we say, Paparazzi still being able to farm very well up here. 27 and 8 on the PA. FN's, FN's just playing, he's playing it smart. He has to play careful here because he knows, he looks bottom. There's the, the, just a Brewmaster. So he clearly knows this Willow's hunting for him when this necro is six. They could look to set up for Yang here, but he's still pretty tanky. He's actually bought the Bracer, buys the Wand as well on the Brewmaster, so he can survive the burst damage that comes out from Oracle as well as Jug. Yeah, you're not killing this brick unless he massively oversteps or gets too aggressive onto the hack, and that's unlikely. It's a Juggernaut. He knows that that's a hero that he can't really kill. As mid lane, Arms like to like walk in and uh, have a bit of a showing here on Tori. Put the Malefist, but Ori's got backup. The Reaper's out gonna come down onto Afterlife, but Afterlife will die. Fake gets the final touch, and that's first blood for Vici Gaming. Is FN? FNG trying to find some kills in response to losing the Enigma, but Fade is healed up by the Death Pulse. He's got the backup of Ori and DY. DY will get rooted. FN will come back across. In fact, with the Eidolons down, they should have a good shot of killing off DY. He does have a bit of the heal coming off the back of the Purifying Flames with FNG use. But Afterlife's back in the game, comes in with the Malefist. FN with the chase down, Slider Fist to make sure he's the one to get the kill. Yeah, it's gonna set off uh, what Fade to get the first blood, and Fade has been having a pretty damn good tournament so far. It's, as he's been similar to Immersion, and putting pressure on. He's all about making the moves early. So Immersion tries for a touch on the paparazzi, but straight away Vici Gaming there to punish it. A rich with the primal spirit split if the push does come through again. It's it's a smart play, right? They know Paparazzi wants to have the free farm lane. Bottom is the one that's uncontested. Now top is the battle lane. So bring that brew there. What the hack? I mean, he he saw D Y and he tried to go for it with the blade fury, and he's going deeper and deeper. But the three heroes chasing him down. He got sort of baited in there by D Y. As he saw the pain, felt that he could maybe go for the kill, but he ends up giving himself up to the reapers. Of the brewmaster who now does have the split available. But Gambit, yeah, making moves is. Pretty tough. Oh, and they found Immersion. And another Reaper Scythe to be used to take him out of the game for 40 seconds. It's... What was the entire immersion team? Maybe Immersion start, stalking him here. Can he find and set up? No, they've got the some vision down, so he's going to be able to set it up. They do end up killing Yang, though. Takes a lot of chase. I mean, that was five here. Even when he sneaks out of the trees, they do have a ward down in lane. Immersion is going to try to TP out. DY can't quite get in range, so Immersion will escape. And that's the battle theory, though. I believe the Jug also pretty much has his finish coming out. They've got to use this. This is fine. Use the black hole. Get yourself a guaranteed core kill. They got the track. To slide a track in. This nice. is good. It will open up the space to put some pressure onto the tier one tower. At the pace of this game, like solo black holes yeah. for sure. Oh yeah. And again, with his enemy sees immersion, he just pops in and kills. Yeah. Him. They're, they're even pinging out constantly. Like Paparazzi knows that this guy's around here because he's he's probably keeping tabs of his experience. Oh, absolutely. Paparazzi is the kind of man who knows how to do that. He knows he knows his numbers. Yeah, he still keeps pinging him too. Like, Mersion showed himself, but the hawk should go. For the, he could pop the dust and kill us. The hawk. They've got a fiend's grip. Yeah. That's and a there's quick, no easy kill. way to help him again. I mean, to hack it happened up top about 10 minutes ago. He keeps fighting him. Sometimes you're like, oh, we, I can split push forever because I can spin TP. But he can't spin TP in this game. There's going to be that Bane there. There's going to be that Necro there a lot of times. Oh, and this oh. time, they're prepared. They know Immersion is hiding around. And they'll kill him off for it. Paparazzi, more gold for him. Boosting uh -huh. him to... At the blink they're now on Afterlife. They are looking towards Fade. Fade does have the rest of his teammates coming in to help ground, and straight away they're going to look towards the Merchant jumping in. Curse Crown's upon him, the Merchant trying to run. Let's get a few bold charges out, but the dust is there. They'll spot out the Bounty Hunter. Immersion's going to be left behind. The rest of Gambit have to get out here. They get the sleep. You are going to have Fiend's Grip back up in a couple of seconds. They've got a Reaper Scythe as well. Dahag will pop the Blade Fury, but the Fiend's Grip there to hold him in place. They'll wait out the Blade Fury. They've got the Reaper Scythe to follow it up as well as Dahag dead for 80 seconds. The and they catch Afterlife. Yang, finding Afterlife. Vici Gaming will move in for more. He does get the Blink off, but Paparazzi's got the Phantom Strike to chase him down. Mech will not make this any better for the Enigma as 10 for 40 seconds. Yeah, Enigma so. being the biggest of worries for, for going for a roach like this. Yeah, as you say, he's not up but and 15 seconds. And that's going to be long enough. They do. He heads in to scout out around the pit. FN tries to have a poke in with the slider fist of the chains. Actually gets hit by the Nightmare. Now as Vici Gaming, they're going to walk up. Make sure that FN doesn't get any... The Huck's still dead for 20 though. I have Enigma TP's over. They're just going to leave... Done it. If they leave the Willow outside the pit, he can't get a black hole on. He's gonna go forward, but as you said, they're gonna turn towards him. He'll try to get a three-man black hole, but there's the terrorize from Fade. Cancels it almost immediately. False promise is not gonna do anything for Afterlife. As the Vici's just on, they're on the, oh my god, double dust. They find immersion. They're just hunting for this man. Yeah. Immersion. Immersion. He's, he's dead again. 
uh, it's going to be 0 6 1 on immersion this game. As, uh, Boy. That's a lot of damage. The hack. Play Fury to get out of there. They got the dagger slow to immersion. Does again. Clips him just on the edge. Jump forward. Immersion and taken out. FNG. And FNG, he's not getting home tonight either. Double kill for Paparazzi. I mean, it's, they've got to just be thinking about what they're going to do next game. And Oh my goodness, as well. Is he gonna, he's, he's actually he's going to solo he's, kill I mean, I think that's, I, mean, yeah, I think you call it. I think you call it. I think, I'm, I think back to basics for Gambit. I mean, at least they're going to know what they did wrong this game. They call it, yeah, they, they call tried, it. GG is cool. It's over. I mean... I think you. Was that, that wasn't even a challenge for VG Game. It was an idea. It looked like they had an idea, right? The double regen pool, ring of regen pool, but the lanes just didn't go the way they wanted to. This Bane, so. The Bane is just standing there top lane. He secured the lane long enough so that Ben. That's not bad versus Puck. Because already, right? Puck coils your Pango and your Troll. They're, yeah. they're just out of the game. They're actually out of the game, especially if Troll's ulted. He's just doomed. <laughs> At hard camp, just to make sure that they can't, like, pull. And whatnot. Of course, the Chen can't take the big creeps early on anymore, so it's not for that reasoning. It's just to make sure that they can keep that uh, that lane positioning for themselves. Oh, see, yeah, FN. Did he jump for the courier? He does. Oh, and he's going. He it. did it. I was. Oh man, I saw it. <laughs> Close to doing so. Afterlife will be able to back off and pop the south. And now they have a Chen. So when you do your lane swaps, they can do it more efficiently. Bam! Send the centaur up top. Oh, but he might actually yeah, be sent yeah, to that. Work out against them. DY sort of brought him over here. And Yang is going to be like, why you do this? He has got the first Oh, he got the first oh, blood, though! first blood! Oh, that's why he does it. Okay. <laughs> it, okay, I think he'll take that. I mean, sure, it is, uh, it is Yang dying for a support, but he gets the first blood. He gets the first blood. Ori, getting silenced Ooh. up. Has the fairy fire, though, just enough to actually keep him alive. Oh, that got close. Yeah, he, as, you know, this is where we are going to see that regen difference really come in. He's got a salve. He's going to be back up to full. He might kill him, And he's dead. Yeah. Yeah. I, I kind of thought what, that this would happen. You called it. You points get put up a lot more but he already has 13 sacks on it anyway so he's he's going look he wants that magic damage for picking out the troll and the hawk already getting pressured yang a couple hits on him three hits gets the double edge two one more and he gets easy kill by himself without any help an immersion he has to avalanche onto dy it's a three, central it's a 3k gold lead owen yeah, i mean this it is Dyer's middle tower. it's That's looking rough attack. again the gambit his first five minutes Beachy Gaming. They're, they're about to find another one. Set up there from Fade. And FN. He's struggling. He really. The 3 0 2 build. So a little bit more duration on the silence to try to hurt Ori a bit. But that means his wave clear is going to be. I mean, yeah, this punished is what they're heavily. talking about on the panel. Uh, you know, as Grant said, maybe th this could be an approach. But as Grant also said, that all the pros that he's spoken to about this have said, you really need that shield crash. But FN is trying to go D -Y. for the turn it. Dream call back up, and there's no way to get out of that one. Can't swatch Puck with the Dream Call leash. Single stats are very weak as a hero. Oh yeah, Puck just able to pull him out and put pressure on tower. Gambit, maybe they can find this one. Yeah, they got the cross them out of the other. There's a stampede getting DY away. And in fact, Fade, Yang, they're ready to turn. They get on top of FNG with a Who Stomp. The retaliate damage allowing Yang to right click down the Witch Doctor. Or he's coming across here. the Dream Coil. Set up with the shackles. The Dream Coil follows down to two. They have the magical burst to nuke down oh to half. Who Stomp onto another immersion. They'll toss Yang up in the air, but Yang quickly comes down. Have some fun, and then when we get to the finals, that's, that's when we show them what we can really do. And, and they are so far in this... Uh, Beginning of game two on top of the very dominant game one that they already have. They've got a Ravage if they want to try for it. The dive is coming out too. Mid lane, more kills for VG Gaming as Immersion is shackled up. They do, they get Yang. It was the Ravage though. They had that. Oh, is he gonna, if he finds FN here. Oh no. Oh my god, oh no, oh, no. FN. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Oh no, let's just type that in the chat. Oh. We need some Fs, we need some Fs oh, now. God. We need something so far. And they kill the tower without even having to commit those mass Serpent Wards. And Gambit's trying to come forward with the coil on three. Right, can they kill this? They the marriage with the charge, the ravage, the everything. Does the job. They kill Again, this sort of 15 minute round timing for a battle fury. FN. He's been spotted. Oh no. Oh, FN, FN, don't get don't. baited by the, by the sexy, sexy Chen, and he did. He saw it, he wanted it, and he's not going to get it. As they'll just get him. Gambit. They have Stampede available. Not gonna use it just yet. Jumping with the hoops. Oh, the damage. 
Takes follow ups there, and as you say, they have Stampy, they don't need it. They may Ori use it if they try for more Ori, he knows that he can do this, he's got nothing to be worried about at all. There's no sort of disable, would be a cask flying his way, and he's gonna dodge that every single time with a phase shift. Tidehunter, we see Afterlife, we see the port instantly coming out from Yank, he's a little bit low, but he's gonna commit forward anyway. Yeah, they've got Stampy back up to come and jump forward, FNG's watching from the sideline, Silence comes out as well as the Dream Call onto the two of them, will go for the Gush onto the Pug, does have FN as well, and... Beachy Gaming being a little careful how they come up. They've got to okay, drop the board down. The end of Shock as well onto the three of them. FNG does have the death board out, but there's the new damage from the orb. Or he jumps across, finishes off the Witch Doctor. Vision is there for them to jump over towards Afterlife. Bade will die to the Maledict. But again, it's just V-Dexes. You know, Shaman's going to be very close to having an Aghanims. Yeah. You know, I, I wish that we had some of the times is like the comms. You know, we have sometimes like the player comms during uh, the games. And oh, I think some we, of these would be pretty cool. Let's see how like the difference in well, confidence. Well, the fact that we can't speak either of the languages. That's actually pretty fair. I wouldn't, wouldn't be much use at all. Not in this one. That's true. I mean, my, uh, my, my Chinese and, and Russian ain't that great. Jump forward by Yang. That's a dead FN. Kill, they do. They do get FN. The shackles there on the tide. A dagger comes out to merge and jump forward from Paparazzi. He'll clean him up. They do lose the Centaur. A buyback will come out from Immersion, Paparazzi turns to finishing off the pit, or he's there up to the high ground, Nukes down another FNG's dead fight back. Paparazzi finishes off Roshan, has the Aegis. The high part BKB. BKB, but it's about to wear off, he's got to now get out of there. Paparazzi's going to start turning and start killing everybody that's in his sight. Afterlife takes a dagger to the backside, he's gone. Jump forth more, he's got the silence on the two, there's the Hex. I Catch think they might Rihanna call it. He's in with a who's stop. Jeez, this is just completely, I mean, it's, oh, it's one of those kind of games, this PA is out of control. The whole team is out of control. And Ori goes heals up. He he gets brought back from Chen. Got full HP, and everybody's full HP, and they even, I believe, have... Did he actually, oh, he didn't actually bring the mech. I thought Ori picked up the mech from the Chen to bring it to him as well, but he didn't. But either way, doesn't matter. Easy Rax, the Hawk can't join, nope. This game, but there's smoke. This is probably the last smoke of the game, that they're trying to make something big happen. Can they actually get Ori here? Hey! Ravage! They get him. They got it! Alright, yeah, give it! They really have that blink Ravage to catch him off guard. It's, it's pretty much been responsible for the majority of their kills, the Ravage. Mm -hmm. And top oh. pass. Rest in peace. Got an avalanche. Kind of a toss, but uh, PA unfortunately has two abilities that help close the gap. The Phantom strikes. Um, any type of breathing room as Puck is back. Chen recalls Puck. FN. Oh, really high! He got, he got oh, the coils off the mark. Oh, there we go. But in the base, Paparazzi nearly one shot to Tidehunter. Let's jump forward. Camp has got to back up. Get the cars down. The creeps are already in the back lines. Ori jumps in with the dag on burst. He's able to kill off Afterlife. It's tier 3 tower going down. They've got no Tidehunter for 40 seconds. GG is cool. GG is cool. BG Gaming. Ladies and gentlemen, they're, they're just on another level. Maybe they just happened. I mean, the smiles are out. They know it. They're, of course. This has got to be so far the, the easiest finals they've ever played. I mean, or